Getting children to play with toys on wheels, bikes, scooters, skateboards, and more has many advantages beyond just, of course, the fun aspect. And this morning, we dig a little deeper into this topic with our creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush. Nikki, welcome back. Why is it so important for children to move? What is it about wheels? <laughs> So with wheels, children are mastering speed and space and distance, and that's really balance. exciting for kids and balance. Well, we'll get into all of that just now, but why this is so important today is with children more sedentary, yeah. sitting in front of TV, sitting with an iPad, a tablet, a, a, a phone screen, gaming, and gaming's not all bad, but it's the amount of time they spend sedentary sitting still that's the issue. And we need to be balancing that time with big body movements. So we call it gross motor coordination. And when you're sitting still all the time, where are those gross motor movements? We're doing all these fine motor swiping thingies, but where's this? Okay, when we get a child onto wheels, then we start stimulating that whole big system, the body, the whole body. Um, and there is also something magical about that process, about learning to ride your first bike. What is it about wheels that makes it so kind of advantageous, but it also has such a, a great launching pad for learning how to use your body? I think it's about two things. One is control, learning to control this moving object and bring it under your control. Getting it all to work in unison, yeah. Yes, and getting your body, because your body's got to work in unison with that machine, and then also the freedom ah. that it gives children. Suddenly, they have access to more space. Because if you think about putting a child on a bike, a skateboard, rollerblades, they need space. It's yeah, very difficult to suddenly. do that in a townhouse or a flat. They need to get out and about. We need to take them, take them to parks. Uh, we need to take, take them to places where they can explore and have more space. So this is also looking at, at a long-term development. And these are all things that you can continue to do as an adult to add value to your life. But why get this going as a child? Why not wait for them to get a, become a teenager and then start, start learning to use their body like well, that? Well, actually, that's a very good question, Graham, because what happens when you get into puberty is that the brain lets off some chemicals and those chemicals prune the neurological pathways that have not yet been formed or formed strongly enough. So if you haven't developed good balance and good bilateral integration, which is where we coordinate left and right sides of the body at the same time, if you haven't developed a good body sense by the time you're a teenager, it becomes harder and harder for you to develop that later on. Eye foot coordination, where do the feet go on the pedals? And to begin with, you watch children looking at their feet, and <laughs> yeah. then eventually they're not looking at their feet anymore. Bilateral integration on a scooter. We talked about the little plastic scooters. Yeah. Getting both sides of the body moving at the same time. The same with running and crawling and swimming. Um, so with cycling, with scooters, both sides of the body moving at the same time. It also integrates left and right sides of the brain. Um, we've got, um, when you're turning, the steering of a scooter or a bike, you're actually crossing the body's midline. Crossing the Integrating line, left industry. and right <laughs> sides of the brain. So there are 101 reasons why we need to be encouraging children to play with toys on wheels. Now think back to sitting with your tablet. Are you getting any of that feedback? No, my, my mind is being blown. My <laughs> mind is being stimulated. I love that. And it helps you look really cool when you're a teenager to have a skateboard or a bike. Um, <laughs> it's so vitally important. We're going to continue this discussion with Nikki Bush, our creative parenting expert, a little later in the show. It's my feel good show. A little bit earlier in the show, we spoke about toys on wheels with our um, creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush, and how important it is for the, the gross body movement to get the whole body in action for the development of the nerves, the brain, all of that. How important it is to get your child out onto a bike, onto something with wheels so they can start engaging with their body. Um, you mentioned something that really sparked my interest about coordinating the different sides of the brain. Can you expand on that a little bit? Because you think of, of riding a bike as something being purely physical, physical. but there's a mental mm. aspect there. Yes, so we've got bilateral integration, which is where we're using both sides of the body at the same time and learning to coordinate them so that the movements become fluid and we don't look awkward. <laughs> and so the more you practice, the better you get. And this actually introduces directionality and laterality to a child. So in which direction am I going? Forwards, backwards, sideways, okay? And then laterality is creating an awareness of the left and right side of the body or left-handedness and right-handedness or left foot, right foot. What's your dominance? And this has ramifications in the classroom for reading 
and writing wow. because we read and we write from left to right. Uh, there's all sorts of things when you're doing drawings, top, bottom, left, right, and children need to learn that or they will have learning issues later on. I cannot wait to teach my little boy how to ride a bike because it's something that we'll be able to do Together. together there is an opportunity to bond for the entire family to have fun like this absolutely and um, there are families who build uh, toys on wheels into their brand you see the families who like go family out to brand. the bike park love that, on a yeah. Sunday and mum, dad and the two kids go and they're all on wheels and they've all got their helmets and, you know, or you've got scooters or, you know, dad taking the kids to the skateboard park and just, you know, being there with your children, guiding them, watching them, helping them to balance on the first two-wheeler, putting those fairy wheels on, taking them off when they're ready, you know, just engaging with them and, and, and um, really tuning into where is, where, where's your child at? How proficient are they? How much assistance and support do they need? And learning when to step back and let them, and do let it on them their go. Own two feet. I love that. So now I've learned through, through many experiences. Um, uh, when you ride a skateboard or a bike, you must learn to fall and pick yourself back up. Any, any tips for parents in this, this learning process? Right. Falling is going to happen. Don't let that stop you from putting your children on scooters, bikes, rollerblades. Just know it is going to happen. You're going to have to be prepared. So to begin with, obviously, crash helmets, <laughs> elbow pads, To begin with that, to end with helmets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so essential um, safety equipment needs to be there. And as I was saying earlier, know when they need the fairy wheels and when to start taking them off. Don't go hysterical when your child falls off. Because if you do... They won't want to get back on again. You kind of need to take it like this. It's just a normal, yeah, natural part of learning how to get proficient to them, yeah. on your wheels, and then you're going to be okay, and get them back up as quickly as you can. This is important. Oh, man, and I think as they grow older, educating them on how to be safe in that environment. Yes, of course, road safety, so, yeah. uh, you know, all the etiquette that goes around being on bikes, scooters, and all those things. There is a whole culture around that. But movement is the architect of the brain. Just parents need to remember that the gross motor movements underpin the fine motor movements like reading, writing, all those things. So um, any child who goes into therapy gets taken back to gross motor, not to fine motor. They do the wow. big stuff first, then they go back into the fine motor stuff. I think there, there's some parents out there thinking, I need to go back to my gross <laughs> motor movements and start improving myself. But what a way to add um, layers to your life, to your child's life, to your family's brand. I absolutely love that. Um, go out there and experience the world and ignite their body and their brain.